chosen was were you were you were you back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one before then let's smile <laughs> i know someone has burst into laughing right now right that's great it's good to laugh it's good to be happy right great yes chosen one you read the title of this video someone wants to confess now so that you refriend them but in this video i'll be sharing with you three main things that this person tried to destroy in their life and any person who tried to destroy these three things i'm about to reveal in this video never try to refriend that person again don't no matter the apology no matter the confession that they will make never accept this person if you get to know that they did these three things they did these three things three main things i'm about to share with you in this video if you want to know these three main things then you got to make sure you watch the entire video yes and you are going to discover it for yourself this video is going to help you to be on guard because what i'm about to share with you is something that is really really happening in this life oh yes chosen one don't take your life for granted right great someone offended you yes you've done so much for the person but this person has the guts to hurt you to cause you pain yes and now, without you in their life, life is so, I mean, tough for them. They are miserable without you. Yeah. And they realize it now. So they want to come to you and confess to you so that you forgive. Yes. My issue is when they come to you asking for your forgiveness, grant them that forgiveness forgive them okay for the sake of peace of mind and peace of heart you're doing it for you the forgiveness is for you it is not for them all right great so just forgive them but make sure you distance yourself you love them from a distance you never refriend them anymore i'm telling you right and i have my reasons and my reasons i'll be sharing them with you in this video all right great so keep watching right great you see never try to refriend someone or a person who tried to destroy it. one your character oh yes because chosen one i tell you character is a very difficult thing to build it's not easy to build character. A lot has to go into it before you build character for yourself. Oh yes, it is not easy. We all know the process that is involved in building a positive character or, you know, a pleasing, charming personality. It is not easy. Not easy at all. Because for one to build a great character for himself or herself it takes process it's not a one day job it's not a one day thing so if someone try to use just one day to destroy what you have taking your time and follow the process to build for a longer time never try to refrain that person any longer you see if you want to build a great character for yourself you have to stay positive. And it is not easy to stay positive in this generation, in this era that we live in. It's not easy to be called the positive person in your family because all around us is full of negativity. All around us is evil. So it takes a lot of work to remain positive, to, to be a positive person in this life right now. It takes so much work. And that is why the people that try to be positive in this life normally become successful. 
yet they are the few percentage that become successful because many people cannot just remain positive i'm telling you for you to build a good and a solid character for yourself you need to be mindful of your thoughts because thoughts become things and you being mindful of your thoughts alone is not easy and not just your thoughts your thoughts become your words so you need to be careful of your words as well you need to be careful of the words that you speak the words you select the words you say about yourself when you are alone in your own solitude when you are with group of people you need to be conscious mindful of your words because you know that the ways that you confess and even imagine or think of these are the things that really shape your life because words are powerful energies that cast spell on one right great so you have to be mindful of your words so that you will not be against you, yourself with your own words you will not be against anybody with with your words or something so it's a whole lot of work it's not easy it's not easy i'm telling you that is why to build a great character is not everybody that have a great character or a good character i'm telling you it is not everybody this is some form of asset that you've built for yourself your words become your actions and you know in this our era to take action is not easy yes everybody can plan, have goals, have dream, but taking action to make it, I mean, to come to pass, it's not easy. Many people are not action oriented. So for one, to be mindful of his, his or her thought, be mindful of his or her words, and be mindful of his or her actions, to take action to make sure they bring their, their, their dream, their aspirations, their visions to pass, it's not an easy task. All right and your actions become your habits and building habit too is not an easy task yes habit building is very difficult the things you do daily are the things that becomes your habit right many people don't have good habits because it is hard to build you see if it is easy everybody would have have a good character but it is difficult i tell you if it is easy everybody everyone will be doing it yes only few are doing it including you because it is hard to do it your actions become your i mean habits your habits become your character right so you see, it takes process. It starts from thoughts, it start to words. It starts from thoughts to your words, to your actions, to your habits, to your character. Five things to get there. It's not an easy task. So for one to build character and for one to take just some few seconds to destroy such a character, right? It's... it's, it's it's, it's, it's so painful. It is very painful. And when you get to know that this is the person that tried destroying your character and they go and they want to come back to refriend you, never ever refriend them. Oh yes, never ever, I'm telling you, don't refriend someone who tried to destroy your character. Unless maybe it is not easy for you to build. Oh yes, character we're talking here is a serious thing. Because character is what you build by yourself. It's the thought, the things you, you think of yourself. Reputation is different. When someone is trying to destroy your reputation, you can decide not to mind a person because that is what people think of you or expect of you. That is reputation. But character is you yourself the real you so if somebody is trying to destroy that and you know they destroy that they break away and they want to come back to refund you never ever accept them i'm telling you and i have my reason i will share with you at the latter part of this video right great so when someone tries to destroy your character mm, no 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 never try to refriend 
such a person okay right great secondly never tried to refriend a person who tried to destroy your money oh yes to someone yes you see making money has to take sweat it has to take sometimes some level of blood it has to take in some sacrifices, maybe late night. You have to put in a lot to make money. And to save money these days, you can testify that it is not easy to save money. It is not easy to work hard, get a money, save money, and use it for a business or something. And... You say, okay, let me employ somebody so that the person will also get something to feed his or her family. And all, all of a sudden, this person try to waste all that you've labored for. Years. Try to destroy it. Maybe the person tried to destroy it through dubious means, through manipulation, through blackmailing you, through fraudulent or scam ways, right? And now, the person is out of your life. This same person that destroyed what you've labored for for so long wants to come back into your life. To do what? Never try to refriend a person who tried to destroy your money. I'm telling you, money is energy. Money is currency. Yes, it's currency. It's current. That is why it is energy. And energy is very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. So, don't trade it cheaply. I'm telling you. If someone try to destroy your business that you use your hard-earned money to build or your money, to squander it, to misuse it, to misappropriate it through whatever means. And they want to come back into your life. No matter the confession they make, no matter the apology, yes, accept, forgive them, and let them be on their own. I'm telling you, never refriend them. I said, never refriend them. I will share the reason with you soon. So, the first one is anybody that tried to destroy your character. No, don't refrain them. Anyone who tried to destroy your money, don't refrain them. I'm telling you. Lastly, the third one is your relationship. Do you know that it takes a lot to build a relationship? Yes, it takes so much to build a loving and a healthy relationship these days. Oh, yes. And some people, they are going to be jealous, envious, or whatever. With the relationship you have with very important people. Maybe with your business partners. Maybe a love relationship, a family. Right? And somebody comes in and destroys, I mean, what you've built. You know, there are no perfect relationships. Every relationship that looks perfect or looks good is a relationship that there was conscious effort in building it. it. It didn't just happen. Nothing just happened. It was built, right? So it took some sacrifices. It took some compromising. It took endurance, persistency, forbearance, patience. And if someone tried to destroy such a relationship, and the person is no more in your life, and now this person is coming back to refriend you, never refriend them. I'm telling you, never. Don't make friends with such people. They cannot be your friend. They cannot. 
don't allow them to be your friend. And this is my reason. The reason being that a snake sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. Oh yeah, some of you might have missed it. A snake shed its skin to become a bigger snake. Oh yes. So, a snake that was small bites you before. And the snake went, did whatever, and they claim they've changed. They shed their skin. So you feel like, yes, they've changed. I'm telling you. They've rather become bigger and very, very much dangerous. That is why you don't have to refriend someone who tried to destroy your character, your money, and your relationship. Never refrain such a person. If the dog will not bite you, the dog will not show you its teeth. I repeat, if the dog will not bite you, the dog will not show you its teeth. So, if you've given them chance, first chance, and they've showed you their teeth, who they are, right? I'm telling you, that is a sign that if they get you the second time, they will not spare you. They will bite you. They will bite you. And because of this, you must stay away from such people. A person who has shown you that mm, if I get you, I will deal with you. Don't go to refriend them. Never. The thing is, never refriend them. A person that tried to destroy your character, your money, and your relationship. Yes, this is a Bradley advice to you under the sound of my voice. You can choose to and you can choose not to. All is right. That is a choice. That is a decision. And that is what life is all about. We are free moral agents. One of the gifts God has given to each and every one of us is the gift to be able to make our own choices. Yes. Some of us are not born to listen to advice, to listen to a counsel, a guide. Some of us, we are born to learn the hard way. Some people, if they don't go through it themselves, they don't face it themselves, they can never learn. They can only learn if they themselves, they've been through the fire and they come out of it. Yes. But I think the best way and the wise way to learn is to learn from the mistakes of others. Learning from the mistakes of others helps one to grow very fast. Yes, it helps you to grow quickly without delay. Yes, because you know, ah, this thing happened to this person and this, is the, uh, this was the end of this person. Okay, so I, I will make sure in life I don't repeat the mistake this person repeated. That is a wise person. So chosen one. That's it. The ball is in your court. To play it depends on you. Wherever you want to play it to. It's all in your hands and in your care. Right? Great. 
maybe for you it is easy to build character yeah so if people destroy it and they go and come and they want to destroy it again with you that is that is okay maybe with you getting money is easy for you so if you get it they destroy it and they want to come back to destroy more you allow them well, then that is your choice maybe to you building a relationship is easy right so you're gonna allow them the choice it is all in your hands right i'm just a messenger a vessel that is being used there is a saying that a word to a wise is always enough thank you chosen ones thank you so much thank you for watching this video yes god bless you god bless you see you in my next video i'm out for now peace